Hi and welcome to this uh, tutorial about cover art. So in this uh, video we're going to go through and just show how you can produce um, some good quality art with Adobe um, CS6 um, Illustrator. Um, we're going to use some uh, stock uh, images um, and we're going to just produce something that really, obviously it's a fictitious book, but it's going to give you an idea of how you can um, can change what could be very basic book art into something that looks um, really quite uh, interesting. Okay, um, so the first thing we're going to do is get an image. Um, now this site is stocksy.com, so it's a stock photos um, website. Um, there are loads of images uh, on this site to choose from and basically you just scan down and see what might be um, suitable in this case for a story. Um, so the story we want to do here um, is called uh, Payday um, and I we want some kind of stock market um, uh, uh, sort of um, yuppie kind of uh, story about um, hedonism etc so I'm sure you've probably been drawn to it already but I like this image here so um, if you look up at the top it's going to show you how much you, you're going to pay for each um, for, the, for this image but for now we're just going to go and, um, and save it to uh, downloads because this is just a, a, an exercise so if you want it to finish this you can come back and buy this later um, we're going to whiz over to uh, Adobe CS6. I'm just going off screen now to bring my finder window up and I'm just going to pull the file um, across. Um, now just before we uh, start I'm going to change the here we are the artboard size and just looking at a book size I'm going to measure here. So what's a book? So a basic um, five book inches is um, call it 130 so 130 millimeters wide by just measuring I know you can't see this we'll call it 200 for cash um, okay so that's that's that is our um, uh, book size so we're going to just place the image there and then roughly scale it up just so there's no bleed on the edges maybe centralize it just a little bit okay so that's the image that we've got to work with. Um, we're going to go back into layers and just, I'm going off screen slightly to capture a new layer. I'm just going to call this image. Uh, we're going to keep it at the back and then uh, I'm going to just leave it at that. In fact, I'll just freeze it for now. Um, so the next thing is to get uh, uh, text on board. So we're going to go into the layer and just put um, pay day. There we go. And just scale that up in here. And then we can position that. Let's call it something like that. Call it in white. Stick it in the middle. And then the author will call her Steph Taylor, maybe. I don't know who you are. Well, I hope somebody called Steph Taylor doesn't exist who's an author. Um, if it is, she's just got some free book art if she wants to call it um, Payday. Okay, so we'll drop that on there um, just to uh, hold a place, if you like. Um, now, this is looking a little bit ropey at the moment. I know the image quality because we've scaled up the image. The image you would buy, you get a really high res if you wanted it. But this is the type of thing that um, you can be able to capture, which is classically a sort of bitmap behind vector. So what you're looking at here is the bitmap image and you're overlaying um, vector. Now, the problem you're always going to run into when you have an image of so many different colours like this is the fact that you've got to find something where it doesn't lose. So in front of his shirt, for example, white starts to look um, a bit poor if you moved it up there where there's some white, um, I think it's a hat or a teddy maybe, then that starts to lose it there or lose it in his cuffs. So colour scheme starts to get very, very uh, difficult. Um, but what we are going to do with this is we, we're going to play around with a sort of distorted reality here because this is uh, uh, stock markets, people who earn millions and millions of pounds and this is their day off. So payday kind of 
um, uh, represents that. So let's take the, the traditional image there, and rather than having it as a photo, and by the way, you could play around with, um, uh, we froze it, didn't we? You could pr play around with the opacity of it, stuff like that, but ultimately you still got a photograph. So let's just change that, select the photo and go up to image trace and just pick a low fidelity uh, trace. And that now starts to look more like artwork. It's just taken the eye out of the, the image just a little bit and softened up what was a poorly focused image anyway, but, but still left it quite um, so funky and interesting. So I'm going to hold that there. I might come back to it later, but for now I'm just going to freeze that layer and I'm going to play around with um, now Payday. Because no matter how many fonts you have a go with, you're always going to end up with with struggling to find one that works or, or, or convey a message without um, uh, loads of description, without saying this is all about stock market, making money, etc. So we're just going to take Payday. Um, I'm going to change the font to, um, to one that I uh, do like, which is, if I can find it, under um, K. I think it was that one in bold. Yeah, that's it. I quite like that. That's got a nice bold look. We're just going to move it off screen here and then just have a bit of a play around with it. So it's a text at the moment, but let's um, uh, expand it. Let's break it apart into constituent objects and then ungroup it as well. So we now have a series of individual objects. They're no longer letters um, with uh, with sort of letter uh, typeset information. They're just uh, vector lines. Um, then I'm going to start at the back one and I'm going to take that and say um, object arrange bring to front. Take the next one object arrange bring to front. 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 And finally that one object arrange. Oops, object arrange bring to front. Um, now we're just going to squeeze them up a little bit, just like this. Just There's no hard and fast rule, I'm just seeing how they will look. Um, and we're just trying to, again, it's playing around with a little bit of reality, and this is an example. And I know it's obviously this title is one that we're making just for this example, but it will just start to show you how you can uh, manipulate it. So I, I quite like the look of that. Now we're going to apply a drop shadow, so go up to effects, um, of, uh, you can go into your drop shadow there and preview, oops, preview, there we are, so apply that, go to the next one, select effects, sorry, apply drop shadow, next one, effects, apply drop shadow, I know there's a shortcut key by the way, but I'm just emphasizing the point of where to go on the menu, select, sorry, effect, apply drop shadow, and then effect, apply drop shadow. So there now we have payday um, where the letters are starting to hide behind the previous letter. It's starting to look a bit bunched up. We'll just bunch those a little bit more. Quite like the look of that. A little bit more. And then payday a little bit more. Alright, I quite like that. So let's take that. Command G, I'm just grouping them together. Put that in the middle and then we're just going to, I'm holding shift down just to maintain the aspect and let's just scale the image and bring that over to the beginning uh, sorry into the middle okay I, um, I quite like that I think that's that's starting to look something like um, it's an interesting title as opposed to just having plain old boring words uh, sorry plain old boring letters um, now trying to avoid white white is quite a harsh um, color or non color um, so it, it, it's, it is quite severe. So what we're going to do now is just pick the um, eyedropper tool and, and find something around that might be better as a, as a sample colour. Just try a few there, maybe a lighter one. Oops, a bit darker. That's not bad. I quite like the pinkier one. OK, we'll just leave it there for a moment. I quite like that because now it starts to pull the image together. Um, next is it's still a little bit flat, so I'm going to take it out 
I'm going to ungroup and then I'm going to just scale down the day just to give I'm holding shift down now by the way just to sort of make it a little bit more fun as if it's it's um, uh, sort of uh, disappearing into the uh, the background you know it's been scaled out a little bit uh, you know proportion wise it's it's starting to look as if it's uh, set further back and the drop shadow just helps with that process just a little bit how's that we've gone a little bit off haven't we so let's just bunch them together again yeah quite like that that's that's not bad and then I might just choose a different color go back to the eyedrop tool and just pick a slightly different color out again just to emphasize difference command G so I'm group I'm just going to bring it together and then overlay that okay all right how's that looking you know what I don't like the scale I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and command Z all that I'm gonna take that back to uh, the regular size again so I just undid that I'm gonna just ungroup it and I'm going to try just scaling this one down just a little bit. That's a bit better. The other one was a little bit too fussy. I'll change the colour because I forgot to do that. So I drop a tool, pick the slight colour difference. There, that's subtle, but I do like that. Um, how about if we lift that up? That's better. I quite like that. And G just to group it back together again. Put that back in the middle. I like that. I think that's pretty good. Okay, so let's now have a. Um, I'm going to call it when the markets close. Um, again, I'm in the same font. Try to avoid using different fonts. Um, a couple of fonts really maximum um two three sorry two maybe three is an absolute maximum uh, i'm now doing shift and alt just to double you can see the arrows they're just duplicating so i'll create a duplicate of that um you know, the bars open something like that and the market close when the market close the market closes. No, that's right, isn't it? Sorry. When the markets close, the bars open. There we are. That makes sense. I don't know why I questioned that. Maybe would that fit in there? That could. If, if you're going to do that and you're going to overlay, maybe scale it up just so it it breaks the boundary of the of the. See how it comes into across D there. Um, just so there's some consistency. It's always better to try and overlap because otherwise it feels like it's just stuck um, and is like is an appendage as opposed to um, a part of the same image. It's okay. Just playing around with this a little bit. Ah, I quite like that. Okay, we're just going to select the two effects apply drop shadow just to give it that little bit of depth to try and help separate it from the colors um, behind just go down to Steph now down here maybe give her some drop shadow as well apply drop shadow no that's not really work I'm going to pick out another color that I like no no Maybe we'll see. Maybe lower that down. Let's have a tailor. Okay. Um, not entirely sold on that. Okay. So that's the um, start. We'll just finish it off. It feels like it needs something up here. It's not quite balanced. So we'll call it debut novel. 
Okay. Try to avoid having everything lined up. It's it's it, you're tempted to do it. That the almost the instinct is to do it, but but pulling it just inside a little bit helps to um, to create some shape to the object. Now in that case, I think the white works pretty well in there. Maybe let's try white there because we've got the colour in the middle. I don't think that's bad. Normally not a huge fan of just white, as I said before, but those are starting, those hold together pretty well. Okay, when the markets close, the bars open. Yeah, okay. Um, and then of course we can just uh, export that. Use artboard. Uh, for now we'll stick it on the desktop. And you know, just call it. No, I'll leave it as payday export. Done. Desktop. Oh, no, that was the original image, wasn't it? Desktop. There we go. There. So that's our very quick uh, cover. Um, I think that looks looks pretty good i think i think you can start to see that even with a basic amount of knowledge and we've we've not we've, we've not overly labored this i mean this is um again adobe cs6 with some um a drop shadow effect with uh standard uh text tools broken apart so exploded um and then we've played around with the individual letters um, I think this doesn't quite work, but you could play around with that all day, and then maybe that doesn't work, and I'm, I might want to pull that out to the whole um, uh, image there. So I might say, see how that looks. Do -do there, when the market's closed, the bars open. We might want to pull that down there, and maybe have that a little bit bigger. When the market's closed, the bars. Yeah, and it scales pretty well. I mean, that's the thing you've got to think about with covers, is especially these days, is do they look good in Amazon? You know, are they going to look, look good on a thumbnail? So you've got to really kind of take them um, down to a, a particularly small size um, and, and just have a, a see how they look. <laughs> Not that small, but anyway. Okay, so that's um, that's been uh, the uh, uh, tutorial. Uh, hopefully, it's been. Uh, useful just as an idea to show you what you can do and roughly in costs so you know you pick up you can pick up a, a second hand you know uh, or an, an older version of of Adobe or of um, uh, Corel draw is another good one although Corel doesn't work on Macs but it's perfectly good for um, uh, for, for PC you can do all of this in Corel draw and probably pick a, a one up for, for you know next to nothing an old license um, and you're talking about what was it, fifty quid, a hundred quid? Let's have a quick look for the stock C image. So a medium image, you know, twenty five, fifty quid, or rather fifty dollars actually. So, you know, you're looking at maybe thirty five pounds. Um that and with a bit of practice you you can produce something that that is far better than, than just doing it in Word and trying to export as a maybe as a directly as a PDF and having to be um satisfied with that. Right, okay, so that is it. Um, thank you very much uh, for watching. Um, please press the like button, subscribe, the usual sort of stuff. There's loads more information um, uh, to support, uh, or support for writers rather, on clickimagination.com, uh, our website. Um, so go there and check those out and the other videos as well. Uh, until next time, um, happy cover designing.